Okay, so I pulled up a balance sheet. I will always direct anybody to pull a balance sheet up first. Okay, and the very first thing that I'm going to look at off top is I'm going to take the total assets and I'm going to look at that. And in this case, it's 273, 862, and 88 cents. Okay, the next thing I do is I make sure that it equals the total liabilities and equity, which in this case, the liabilities are right here. The total equity is right here. And together, it does tie out to the assets for 273, 862, and 88 cents. Okay, that would be the first red flag. Because if that was off, I would stop right there. Um, I would try to look for what, how much it's off, and then I would contact studio. Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing that I look for is I'm going to take everything in the assets section and I am going to just review them and give them a quick rundown. When I do that, in this case, um, I can see that there is a negative amount in suspense. Okay, a negative asset is a liability. So that means this is not an asset. It's something that, well, it's to me, it, it's either overpaid or there's a problem. Okay, so I would take that as the second issue. Anything that is negative, it doesn't mean it's wrong, but that's usually a red flag. Um, the only thing I probably wouldn't question that would be a negative in an assets is an accumulated depreciation, okay, or amortization. If you saw that account on here, that means it's, you know, they're, they're amortizing assets, okay? So that wouldn't be odd. But otherwise, I want to know what is negative. Okay, second is in the liabilities. I'm going to look at anything, okay? I'm going to disregard the equity for right now, but I'm looking at liabilities only. If you see a negative liability, that means that's an overpaid account. That makes it an asset, okay? It's very odd to have something that is overpaid that's a liability. Typically, if there is, I mean, it doesn't mean it's wrong, but that would be a red flag. Like in this case, this looks like sales tax was overpaid by almost $30,000, okay? That's a red flag to me, okay? I want to know, did we overpay it and are we getting that money back, okay? So those, that is a quick, that's a quick rundown to see what is wrong. I would never pull up a P&L, income statement or profit and loss all interchangeable words, if the balance sheet was off. Okay, I always start with the balance sheet. Okay, if there's any questions to what I've just said, you can leave it in the comments, like, post, and subscribe to stay updated, and um, let me know how we can help. Thanks.